Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm Mama Loves UGB here on Flosstube and this is December the 22nd. Welcome to the Flossmas Advent and the morning briefing. Good morning. Um, I've got lots to show you today, all the usual things, but I had so many questions about my uh, perforated paper stitch that I'm going to start with that actually. Um, so this is what I have been, sorry, put everything down here. This is what I have been working on and, oh that's a horrible glare. I'm not sure it's going to be much better because it's shiny paper. There we go. I have been working on this design by Foxwood Crossings, which is called Morning Star Santa. And the reason that I was attracted to it is because it fits onto this sled. So what you do is, let me just take my needle out of there, you stitch the design on perforated paper and then you can trim around it and then you just use some either stitchery tape or good double-sided tape or even glue and you mount it onto the top there. Obviously I need to trim mine up a bit more but I'll do that when I'm finished. And then that's your ornament. So quite a few people were asking me about perforated paper and what is it. And the first thing to say is that it isn't really paper. The stuff that you have these days is like a, a thick card and it's almost got um, a very slight, it feels like it's got almost like a slight plasticization to it because you can tear it and I've seen pictures of people on their Instagram going oh my god I've torn it but you really have to go some to tear it so it is pretty strong. Um, yeah it's not paper, It's I would I'd definitely go with almost like a plasticized very very fine plasticized card um, and perforated paper that uh, the idea of stitching on perforated paper has been around for a really really long time the earliest ones are sort of back way in the in the 1800s where um, paper makers and card makers developed the technology of being able to, to perforate card so that people could then stitch designs at home and they were stitched for things like cards, for love tokens, for, for bookmarks and you can still find them nowadays although obviously there's less and less of them around because the material that they were, they were stitched on um, was, less, was less robust. So why would, you, why would you want to stitch on this? And as I said I've not got a massive amount of experience in, in perforated paper but the ability to finish stitching this and then all I've got to do is literally cut there so I get a neat edge. So I've effectively got one row of cardboard before the end. So all my stitching is completely enclosed. To, a bit, to, to finish an object and just sort of cut around it and then stick it down, that's as much finishing as you need to do on perforated paper sometimes. You can, um, there's lots of ornaments that you can make with perforated paper. And actually I've just ordered some black perforated paper because it comes in all sorts of different colors from Chris at the Nimble Thimble. Um, because Satsuma Street on Etsy have got some fantastic Halloween patterns and I'll put um, a couple of pictures up there because they've got two or three different sets of, of Halloween ornaments. So literally all you do is you stitch it and then their ornaments you can back with a little bit of self-adhesive felt or you can just use normal felt and use double-sided tape and then put your hanger in between the two layers and then it's done, you just hang it on the tree. Um, the other person that's really, really good for um, objects using perforated paper is Brooks Books. And this is one that I've had in my stash for a long time, actually, and I'm going to have enough perforated paper left over to, to do this one as well. And the idea, the reason that it's so beneficial for this type of work is because you can, you can make it 3D. So... I don't know if you can see, but the wings are a layer. So you would stitch the wings, then you stitch the girl, and then you stitch these ornaments and she ha she holds onto those. So you've got a three layer, a three dimensional ornament. 
Um, and the Brooks Books one, she's got loads and loads of angels, of um, fairies, of wizards, witches. They're all, when you buy them, most of the patterns, and do check, but I think most of the patterns either have a complete pattern so you could stitch that on your even weave or Ada or whatever you wanted to as normal but they also have the pattern broken up into layers so I guess it's a bit like a cross stitch version of something like um, 3D decoupage where you're doing you know different layers so that's a really good a really good source and there's a lovely floss tuber called Angela Stitches who I'll link down below who um, does lots and lots of these ornaments so you can see them made up and they look Oh, they look absolutely phenomenal. The other thing, or the other place that you might see perforated paper is in the Mill Hill kits. And you can get loads and loads of Mill Hill kits, loads of ornaments, loads of Santas. Um, I haven't got any of the ornaments, although I wouldn't mind getting some of the Santas because some of the Santas are really, really nice. But I have got a few of these ones which are called Buttons and Beads. And actually, I've got a set of Halloween ones, which I'm planning to put onto fabric. <laughs> but this one I'm stitching on the perforated paper as well. Um, and they're a really good structure to add beads onto as well, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to. So this is one I've already started. And these are great because they come with everything. Now you're going to have to, I have no idea which way up that is. No clue. Um, they come with everything that you need, the, obviously with it, these are effectively 14 count, although I think you can get perforated paper in different counts. Um, it's so easy to stitch on, you just stitch on it as you normally would, a, a piece of Ada, um, 14 count Ada, you just stitch on it, except you hold it in your hand, you don't need a hoop, everything's there for you. So it comes with, the Mill Hill kits come with the, the perforated paper that you need, they come with the threads. Now the threads are in bundles, so you do need to sort them. Do take the time to sort them. I've tried to do them before and you didn't sort them. <laughs> that makes sense of that. Um, and they come with all of the beads that you need. And often they've got a button as well, hence why they're called beads and buttons. And this chart looks just like any normal, any normal cross stitch chart. So if you've never had a go with perforated paper, definitely, definitely have a go with it. It's really, really fun to do. It's really easy. It would be a nice sort of starter project for, for a younger person maybe, um, or you get really, really great results in, in whatever you want to do. I was hoping to have had this one finished today, but I didn't quite get as much done on it as I, as I wanted to, but definitely for tomorrow I'll get it done. So that was just a little introduction to to perforated paper go onto YouTube there's loads of tutorials about how to stitch on it but if you can stitch on Ada you can stitch on perforated paper um, and yeah go and explore it so uh, those of you who are already perforated paper stitches I'm sorry <laughs> but hopefully you've found a few more charts that you might like with Satsuma Street because they're they're really lovely right let's get on then I have got two uh, previous finishes a lovely chart to show you and some um, flosses and a floss. So let's get on with, let me do the chart first of all before I bury it. Now I'm going to have to put up a picture of this one because you won't be able to tell very much from the chart but it's so cute. It is um, a four crabs pin pillow and it's by Jeanette Douglas Designs so I'll put the, um, the link down below and I'll show you the chart not that you can read it from there but the actual picture as you can see is so cute and it'd be a lovely little summer finish um, just as a little pin pillow just for just for your shelf or uh, as, as to give us a little gift um, it's really little in fact it's so little I don't even think it's got a no, 40 40 by 50 just over 40 by just over 50 so it wouldn't take very long to do and I love the way that the, the sort of ribbon not the ribbon the thread has been wrapped around to sort of help shape the pillow so that is your freebie for today and let's do the thread 
Um, I'm just looking around to see where I have put my... Oh dear. Ah, there it is. Where I had put my, my bundle already. So we're on to the 22nd. So tomorrow we'll be back onto the front of the house, which is exciting. Couldn't find the knob for a minute there. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, campfire. Now, what was campfire in the other that I wanted it for? Ooh, I can't remember. Campfire was in one of the charts I had and it was out of stock in the summer. So it's a beautiful sort of orangey red. Really lovely. By Classic Colour Works, Campfire. Fab. Love that. So I have got, technically I've got three more doors and I have got a little envelope of threads that I've got left over from Christina from Wild Cyrus Naps that she sent me. So I'm going to do videos until the 24th, so, the, so Christmas Eve will be my last video. So um, when we get to the 24th, I'm going to open the 24th and the 25th and my extra um, threads that I've got. So that will be a bumper thread, bumper thread show. Previous finishes. So my previous finishes from everything I've shown you this month, I think these are the only two that aren't fully finished that I've stitched between November this year and December last year. I think everything else was fully finished. So that's not bad going actually. Uh, so this is the first one and this is stitched on a piece of hand dyed uh, linen, 32 count linen. I will put it on the back of here so we get and it's got loads of hanging bits of the linen. I've got everything I need to finish it but I'm just not quite sure how I'm going to finish it. Um, and this is a little Lizzie Kate and that's a pretty good colour actually, it is a really bright beautiful green uh, and it's called Why Yes I Can Drive a Stick. So I can't wait to get that finished off and I'll hopefully over this holiday I'll have you know an hour or so to get it to get it finished up but I really really enjoyed stitching that one and I can't wait to have that one finished and the other one that I have got that is finished but not FFO'd is part of the Erica Michaels 12 berries of Christmas. So I've got parts one, two and three. So a partridge in a pear tree, uh, two French hens, three turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. I can't carry a tune in a tin bucket so apologies if that hurt your ears. Um, so I've got those. I'm stitching these on 32 count uh, platinum. Just 32 count platinum even weave with the called four colours. Now this probably looks a bit more creamy than platinum normally is. Platinum's quite a, a cool cream, if you like. Um, I always think it throws a little bit more grey than, than a true cream does, but because my light's quite warm in here, it's gonna look quite warm. Um, and so there is the partridge in the pear tree and the reason I haven't finished this one off is because I think I'm going to finish stitching them all before I finish them all because I'd like them all to look to look the same so I'd like to buy all my finishing materials at at the same time so that is me done um, except to say we're kind of warming up for Christmas now we've come to the idea that we're staying here we've started preparing the Christmas food I've got to make the uh, Duchesse potatoes in a day or so they need to sit in the fridge for a bit um, I'll try and make a few get a few bits of veg and stuff prepared so it's just about thinking about how we're actually gonna gonna do it I've started on the selection box as well not mine my daughter's <laughs> I owe her a whisper already but um, she had already opened it I didn't go as far as opening her Santa selection box I just helped her out when it was already open and I'll put a bigger whisper back than I took I promise. <laughs> uh, 
until tomorrow stay classy stitches